Israel's army has pulled back. In the fields outside Gaza, tanks and artillery crowd the hillside, ready for a complete withdrawal. Some reservists are already leaving combat. All troops, according to a foreign ministry official, could be out of Gaza by President-elect Barack Obama's inauguration, 7 p.m. Israel time Tuesday. It's an uneasy truce right now. It's almost silent up here overlooking Gaza. All you can hear is the drone of the Israeli surveillance aircraft looking down on the streets, monitoring what's going on. At the border, Israel's newly appointed post-conflict humanitarian coordinator has opened a health centre to help Palestinians. The government's message that despite so many hundreds of civilian deaths and reports of thousands of injuries in Gaza, they want to help the people. First of all, we've increased dramatically the amount of inflow of trucks of humanitarian uh, goods and services including food, medical supplies and the like. At border crossings, a more complex picture is emerging. Humanitarian help is not getting through the way aid agencies say it needs to. Mercy Corps and the other colleague agencies that we work with closely are not experiencing this at all and we're very frustrated and really you know, demanding you know, unimpeded access for humanitarian aid workers. After three weeks of bombardment, aid officials estimate tens of thousands are displaced. Most of the 1.5 million people in need of food assistance. Getting help in fast is critical. There's reports that over 4,000 homes have been destroyed and about 20,000 have been severely damaged. So these people need plastic sheeting and materials so they can fix their homes. The army says it needs to be cautious and see if Hamas will hold the ceasefire. As the quiet continues, we'll be able to open up the border with more security. Let's not forget that every time we've had a lull in our fighting to enable humanitarian aid to go through, we've been hit with mortars and rockets. We've even seen contraband going through with those supplies. For now, in Gaza, no bombs dropping is almost relief enough. And the aid that is getting through so far, more than 130 trucks this day, according to the Israel Defense Force, welcome help. On the Israeli side of the border, troops relax, reflect on the conflict, enjoying their first day without rockets for almost four weeks. Nick Robertson, CNN, on the Israel-Gaza border.